Hey there, hi there, hi ho there, folks. My name is Tom Rigsby, the Unashamed Nonconformist, your results coach, right here with you this Monday morning. Woohoo! It's seven after seven. Man, I nailed that one, didn't I? Seven minutes after seven? Seven minutes for seven minutes after seven? I don't know, something like that. How was your weekend? I hope it was fantastic and, um, I don't know, as exciting as mine. A great weekend. We do have a little bit of a problem with the pool, so trying to get somebody out to fix that. We won't talk about that this morning. All right. We are going to talk about the only two options that you have. You're either growing or something else, and we're going to talk about uh, that today. Before we get into that, I need you do something for me do what joe has done already beat you all to man good morning joe thank you for being here is he good at that or what leave a comment say hi give the like thumbs up share um yeah i guess that's all of them depending on uh uh which um network you're listening to this on i should make sure yeah i am using the right microphone Whatever network you're watching, listening to this on, give it that like or that uh, that thumbs up. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe and ring the bell so you can see when we come out with a new video every weekday morning. And uh, if you're not watching on Facebook, 7minutesinthemorning.com gets you to the right place. You can leave a comment and join the conversation as well. All right, so there are only two states for you to exist in. You can be growing or you can be decaying. That's it. There's not any more growth or decay. There is no happy middle of the road. There's no finish line that you can cross and say, Woohoo, I'm here. I don't have to do it anymore. No. Nope. You know, I, I read just a crazy statistic, statistic. Um, it's been a couple of months ago now about how many books Americans read. I mean, this is depressing. I mean, especially if you look at my bookcase, and that's just my current reading bookcase. Well, my close bookcase. I've got another stack over here by the big red chair, and the closet literally is full of books. Read all the time. Why do I read? And that's really what I want to talk about today. Because do you know how much effort has to go into writing a book? Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that it takes an author a year to research and write a book. Now, I'm going to show you the front cover of this book later, but look at this book. That book took more than a year to write, right? Let's just say, for the sake of argument, author takes a year to write it. He studies the topic. Um, she interviews people, you know, d- does all the research, does the writing, puts it, reduces it to, to written form into a book that you can read in... A week. So now in a week, you have learned the best of what the author learned in a year. You've reduced your learning curve by 51 times, right? All because you sat down to read. Now, before you tell me that you don't have time to read, what did you watch on TV this weekend? Oh. Now, all TV is not bad, and spending time with your family is not bad. I'm not dinging you for that. I'm dinging you for saying I don't have time, and yet you choose to do other things when you could be reading. Here's one of my, I've got two books here. I showed you this one, right? This one is uh, Tools of Titans. I don't know if that, yeah, that's right in the video. Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. The thing I love about this, and look, I've got tape flags all in here. The thing I love about this book, is uh it's basically full of short stories they're excerpts from uh tim's podcast and so you can turn to one of them you know i'll just pick one of my tape flags here look here's one with arnold schwarzenegger right and he gives you the lowdown that's uh one two three four five six seven pages and a couple of lines in in seven pages i can get the gist of that podcast I don't have to read the whole book. I can read two or three of those a day. 
But here's another one. All right? That gate swings both ways. This one is another one of my favorite authors' book, Tribes by Seth Godin. The, the point is, read. Right? Leaders read. I think I heard that somewhere, sometime. And, and in doing so, continue to grow. Right? If you don't, I mean, what's the alternative? Do you think things change every day? Does technology continue to progress? Do the things that we learn continue to progress? Are there new ways to do things that we didn't know before? Yeah. And those things are produced every day. And you know what? They're written about. So you, because you're not reading, are going to lose to those of us that do. It's just a fact. I mean, what would you think of the college professor, and you probably know some, who finished their their formal education and then never took another class, never went to another seminar, never read another scholarly work? I mean, in 10 years, would they still be qualified? No, probably not, right? So here's the question for you today. Based on your growth patterns, based on whether it's reading, I mean, look, I my, my phone, I've got the Audible app on here, full. I don't even know how many Audible books I've got or Kindle books. The, I mean, these are just the printed ones, right? Whatever the, the pattern is for you, whether it's, and, and you're here, that's that can count, but this is only seven minutes, right? At least 30 minutes a day. By your growth patterns, right? Reading, listening, studying, exploring, experimenting. Are you growing or are you decaying? Personally, I'd rather grow than rot. And yes, I know that's gross, but that's exactly what's happening. Just putting that out there. Are you growing or decaying? What is your favorite way to learn to do something new? That's a question I would love to hear comments to. Uh, or hear responses to down in the comments. Leave those there if you're not watching on Facebook. Go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. 7minutesinthemorning.com. Get you to the right place. And you can leave your comment. Let me, let me know and the rest of the community know what your favorite way to learn and grow is. If you're watching the video, you also see the little bug down there in the lower third for Fast Five. Fast Five. That is how it's five steps. And I don't have one laying here again. I've got little cards printed out for them. Five steps to begin creating results in your life to the things that you thought were impossible. They are not impossible. They're just not on the path you're currently following. So we need to change that path. All right. That's going to be it for today. Hey, if you are in the uh, Scottsboro, Rainsville, Fort Payne area, send me a message. I'm coming your way today. We'll at least stop by and say hi. Have a cup of coffee or something. All right. And uh, other than that, I will be back here with you in the morning, 7 o'clock for 7 minutes, so we can do this show, 7 minutes in the morning. All right. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.